Welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa here. Go ahead and take a moment to subscribe below. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. Today we're going to do a two strand twist style using only two products. So here my hair is freshly washed, conditioned, and ready to be styled. It is still wet. I'm going to go ahead and part the back so that I can begin the twisting process. The part doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be all even and perfect, but I just part it across so that I can begin the twisting process. Since this isn't a style that is gonna keep or have the parts in them the entire time, it's okay. I'm just gonna separate the top hair and clip it so that it will stay out of my way when I start to twist. So I am going to take my first product, which is the Myel Leave-In Conditioner, the Honey and Pomegranate Collection. And I'm gonna apply that through all of my hair in the back. And as you can see, my part is a little crooked, but it's no big deal. So I'm gonna apply the leave-in conditioner and I'm gonna pay special attention to my ends to make sure they stay moisturized. Here I have the Mayel Coil Sculpting Custard. That is my second product. And I'm gonna begin to apply it to my hair. And I didn't part it, so I'm gonna go ahead and part it to get the first section that I'm gonna twist. And I'm gonna add some more of the Coil Sculpting Custard. I'm gonna take my detangling brush and detangle from the ends all the way to the roots. I was gonna twist, but before I do, I wanna show you that definition on the ends. That coiling custard partner with the leave-in conditioner lets me know that that will be a great duo for a wash and go style. So I twist all the way down to the ends. Well, not quite all the way to the ends, but close to it. And then I apply a roller to the ends. I love the look of the roller on a twist out on the very ends of the hair. Previously, when I had done twist outs, the ends look kind of wild if I don't add a roller. So this is why I choose to do that. Now I'm done with the back row and I am now on the second row and I'm just going to proceed to go through and do the same thing. Here you can see that they're not all even, but they're in there and it's looking good for what the purpose of it is. I re-wet my hair a little bit because I don't want it to get dry. Sometimes I know when I keep my hair wet when I do my twist out, the product will actually stretch as well. I'm trying to figure out what side I want my part on. And I think I've settled on this side. Just make sure it's pretty even and go with it. All right, and here we are down to our last twist.
finally done I'm gonna go ahead and show you again that it's not all even but it, it works I'm gonna put my bonnet on somewhat strategically just so like my hair is not thrown all over the place in the bonnet and once I get all those in there then it's good for now I'm not gonna sit under a dryer I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed or whatever I'm gonna do for the day and the next day we're gonna take them out so it's looking good those rollers really help on the ends as I take them out I notice that a couple of them are still just a little bit damp and that's my fault I probably didn't leave them in as long as I should have. So I'm going to take the blow dryer and just apply a little bit of warm air to help dry them because I don't want them to frizz after I take them out. I'm going to take my Jama Jamaican black castor oil and put it on my hands about that much and just apply all the way from the root to the tip of each twist. You can use whatever type of moisturizer you like. This one is just my oil of choice and what I had on hand. So make sure that your hands are moisturized with some type of oil or moisturizer when beginning the takedown process. Just have it on your hands. So I go ahead, take that down, and I pull it to just kind of get the oil all over it. And then I also separate even more as I go through. I'm just going to dry a little bit more. Don't want it to be frizzy. So I just take all of them down and then separate the big twist and then separate it a little bit more as I go through. Just to give it more volume. So I'm loving the way that it's looking. I'm gonna separate those. And I have a few distractions here with me. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and take out this last twist. Separate more. And then add some finishing touches as well. So I'm going to do some fluffing. And this was one spot that was just a smidge frizzy due to not being all the way dry. You take your hand, you can do this with um, your hand, you can do this with a pick, whatever you like. I just took my hand and just lift it to give it a little bit more volume and the look I wanted to have. I'm going to take my edge control and get those edges nice and smooth to finish the look. Take my edge brush and smooth it out. And voila. Quick and easy, fun style. <laughs> 